Minnie J. Reynolds was a very well-known Denver journalist and suffrage leader and political activist who um, was in Denver in the 1890s. So when she arrived at the Rocky Mountain News office, they were kind of shocked. <laughs> well, where's Mr. Reynolds? And they thought they were hiring a guy, a man. Uh, but indeed, they were hiring Minnie J. Reynolds. She became the editor of the Society page, and she got to know these wealthy ladies quite pretty well and had a lot of influence with them. And that also helped her um, in the efforts to raise money for the suffrage campaign uh, starting in 1893. Women had very few ways of communicating especially between different communities. So being a journalist and a newspaper uh, writer was kind of the key to, to pulling together people from all over the state. Colorado was the second state after Wyoming to win full voting rights for women. And by then she had moved to New York City to, to um, become a little more visible. The national suffrage leaders said, you're going to Washington to help that campaign. And she did, and they won. She established the Denver Women's Press Club in 1898. They organized it uh, to host a convention of women's clubs from around the country who had heard about women voting here and thought, we've got to have our convention there. Her vision was to have this be a meeting place where women writers could connect and support each other and give each other um, connections, if you will. And she learned and taught, can teach us that you need to organize, you need to focus your, your skills, and in this case, writing skills, uh, to further your life goal, which was to achieve equality for women.